All right, take it from the top. Top? The beginning, smartass. How far back we talking? My memory's a little hazy. Circa 1980? What is this, 20 questions? Stop dicking around. The incident tonight, Mr. Panofsky. You got a story for us, or what? The incident, right. Well, I finished my shift at 8, and I headed to the subway immediately after. The one on 77th and Lexington? The one near where I work, yeah. And you work as a doorman at Park East High Rises, correct? We prefer the term commissionaire. We? A what? In the profession. It's a technical term. You're filling out a police report. I figured you want to get the jargon right. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, it was a bad day. Pretty miserable if you want to know the truth. Watch, move! God bless you. Welcome back, Mr. Wilson. You here for the party? You know it, Chris. It was a big holiday party going on. And people were swarming in. I had to open the door for like 100 people. Sounds like a hard job. Anyway, I was supposed to leave at 7, but I had to stay an extra hour because of all the commotion. Dear, do you mind fanning me? I'm waiting for my husband, and it's so dreadfully hot out. It's 65 degrees. I know, and I'm dripping. Well, take off your coat. So you must have been pretty annoyed, huh? It was pretty exhausting, I'll admit, but nothing out of the ordinary, apart for the course. All right, enough preamble shit. Get to the part where you get on the train. The train, right. Well, I was sitting there minding my own business, as always, and then they got on. The Stratfords. Mr. Panofsky? Mr. Panofsky? Huh? Getting late. Sorry. Uh, yeah, the Stratfords. Okay, so they get on the train and then what? <sighs> Stratfords caught my attention and not in the most flattering way. Oh, Sammy, I knew you were scared of that, but it wasn't so bad, now was it? You just have a weirdo ear infection, that's all. And you're gonna take your weirdo doggy pills, and everything's gonna be so much better. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah? Can you make me kiss you? This upset you. I mean, Christ, if we're being real here, just talking about it upsets the hell out of me. Why? Why? Have you ever sat on a plane next to somebody who wouldn't shut the hell up? Well, it was like that. And she wouldn't stop talking to her dog. Like that little mutt could understand her. So? Plenty of people talk to their pets. Yeah, you got a problem with animals? No, that's not... Look, the dog is not the issue. I like dogs. I'm a dog person. This... This was just... Different? Obnoxious. It's just like heaven being here with you because I love you. I love you. I do. Okay, so she started singing, and that's when you finally snapped? I didn't snap. I got fed up. You got fed up. Yes, I got so fed up, I had to say something for my own sanity, if nothing else. So, what did you say? For Christ's sake, lady, that dog can't understand a word you're saying. Just keep it down, all right? And that's when Mr. Stratford got involved? Yes. 
That's when Mr. Stratford got involved. Hey, you with the hairpiece. You just told my wife the dog can't understand her? You basically just told my wife to shut the fuck up. What the fuck do you think you are telling my wife what she can or cannot do? This is a public train. If you don't like it, go sit someplace else. That's a prick. And that's when you punched him. No. I was incredulous. I couldn't believe what this guy was saying. I mean, seriously, what kind of pathetic fuck tells an innocent woman on a subway to keep it down? Is it your job? Is it your family? Do you even have a job or a family? I mean, just judging by the way you're dressed, all grubby and unsophisticated, you live alone. Next stop, 7th Street. But just out of curiosity, what do you do for a living that you can't afford a decent hairpiece? Most of the kikes I know let it receive gracefully or wear a goddamn yarmulke. But to each his own. You do what you want. Just leave my wife out of it. Good lawyer, asshole. Now ask my kite brother to recommend one. <laughs> what do you know? Cheap, as I suspected. <sighs> anyway, that's my story. Can I go now? My mother's probably worried sick. She gets worked up easily. Oh, and tell Mr. Stratford I'm willing to drop the charges, provided he buys me a new toupee. <laughs> Seems only fair. What? I'm gonna get a muffin. You want anything? No, I'll get it. What? It wasn't cheap! Sit tight, Mr. Panofsky. It's going to be a long night. Say 